Hello! Right, um, back out for another chilli test. Uh, now I hope the light's alright. I um, hope you can still see me okay. It's quite late in the day and um, yeah, the sun's gone down a bit now and it's starting to get a bit darker. But um, never mind. Still enough time to squeeze a quick test in. And today we've got another super hot one. Um, we have the Naga Viper. Now lots of you have probably heard of the Naga Viper. Um, this time last year it was officially rated as the world's hottest chilli um, tested at 1,349,000 Scoville units I believe so yeah seriously hot chilli and um, Gerald from the Chilli Pepper Company has been kind enough to send me one of these to try now I've done a dried Naga Viper with Leo and I've also tried the Naga Viper sauce and the extra strength Naga Viper sauce um, and I know it's a pretty mean pod uh, but yeah, I've still yet to try one fresh, so um, well, here's my chance. So I'm just going to chop it open quickly because I want to grab a couple of seeds. Never got to grow this one this year. Cool. I can smell that already. Don't even need to get close to it. Um, yeah, it's pretty serious looking pod inside. Um, shed loads of capsaicin oil in there, um, loads and loads of placenta, I don't know if you can see, um, actually smells smells quite nice and sweet, um, a little bit fruity, yeah a bit fruity, a bit tangy, um, uh, but yeah I have to say it does look pretty deadly, that all the walls are just coated in placenta, uh, which in town is covered in capsaicin oil so yeah it looks pretty serious inside I'll just try and get the seeds out quickly Got some trap down the bottom okay that's all the seeds from that side I have a feeling this one is going to hurt right so Down. Right, we'll do this one in two halves again. Oh yeah, that is a serious looking pod. So there you go, the Naga Viper. This will taste is very nice. Mm. <coughs> oh. Yeah, I can feel the heat building in and around the mouth then while I was chewing that up. Just get rid of all the bits a minute. in one specific location it's kind of everywhere at the moment and it's rapidly rapidly building it's all on the inside of my lips it's all across my tongue it's gone into the back of the throat a bit I have to say it's one of the nicest tasting soup hots I've done in a little while um, it's fruitier than the normal scorpion. Um, I would say it's actually fruity in the seven part as well. Just waiting to see where the heat's going to really attack to. At the moment it's more at the front of the mouth than in the back of the throat. Got a few seeds out of that. Nice side seeds as well. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
about 20 seeds came out of that. I think I left about five or so in the pod. That's plenty for me for next year. Get this one on the grow. Still no hiccups. Um, I think I should probably lay off the super hot soon <coughs> because they just don't seem to be affecting me quite as much as they used to. I know they're seriously hot still, but obviously my tolerance, because I've been eating so many recently, tolerance has gone up. It's actually picked up now um, in and around the inside of my lips and my tongue. Actually, getting a bit painful. Um, the throat, funnily enough, is all right. Not too bad in the throat. I can feel it from about here down now. But yeah, it's mainly front of the mouth bone. Just left a really nice, pleasant, fruity taste in the mouth. <coughs> Excuse me. Just hit the stomach. Hmm. Making my nose run a bit now, and um, again, where it's kind of stuck around the inside of my mouth, it's just created little pin pocket areas of heat. I just feel like they're drilling into your gums and stuff. It's a really odd sensation. I'm kind of getting used to it now, though. That's what I'm talking about, little bits like that, stuck in around your gums and things. And that's enough to cause real serious little points of pain. Well, I'm not sure if the heat's peaked or not. I think it might have done. Um, yeah, awesome chilli. Um, whether it's just from tolerance levels or what, or the fact that that's um, a part scorpion cross. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know because the scorpions haven't been getting me so much recently. Maybe it's a similar sort of chili, just not one that somehow attacks me too bad. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is hot. The front of my mouth is on fire. Um, I got a feeling it'll probably continue for quite a while after the video ends as well. Um, not getting any worse, just kind of <coughs> ever so slowly tapering off. But yeah, awesome. I did have a second smaller pod out here which I forgot to bring out with me, so I haven't got that to show you. But um, yeah, the Naga Viper. Um, another reason why possibly they're not affecting me quite so much is. This was picked recently, later on in the season, when the temperatures start dropping, the SHUs of the chilies start to drop with it as well. Um, so possibly it's not quite as hot as a um, you know peak midsummer pod. But maybe next summer, if I grow my own, I'll um, try one when it's a bit earlier in the season and see if it does a bit more damage then. But yeah, awesome. Thanks Gerald for sending me that mate, really appreciate it, they are one tasty tasty chilli, um, yeah they're very hot too, um, don't be put off by the fact that I haven't shown too much of a reaction to it, like I said the Scoville units may be, may be tailing off now, um, but yeah it's certainly an awesome variety and lovely looking pod as well, I mean Okay, it's gone now, but beautiful looking pod. Yeah, it looked really good. So, that's enough for now. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again soon.